Hey everyone, Victor is here and welcome back to Synthesis Sunday where we are looking at interesting synthetic challenges. As always, if you want to work through the synthesis on your own first, make sure you hit that pause button now because I am going to go into my retro synthetic analysis. So the first thing that jumps at me right away is this functional group over here, which is an enamine. And when it comes to the enamine synthesis, we typically make those from the corresponding aldehydes or ketones and the secondary amines. So it is reasonable to assume that the very last step on the synthesis is actually going to be our enamine formation, which means that I can write the precursor carbonyl right away. Now, the next thing that I am seeing here is that my aromatic ring has three distinct different groups sitting on that. We have this chlorine over here, which we can put on via a simple halogenation reaction. We also have the nitro group on the bottom, which we can put on our aromatic ring by treating the compound with the concentrated nitric and sulfuric acids. And finally, I have this carbonyl over here, which would be the product of the Friedel-Crafts acylation, where I would have to react our aromatic compound with the corresponding acyl chloride in the presence of the Lewis acid catalyst, such as aluminum chloride or something of that sort. Now, another important thing to keep in mind about those substituents is that they all do have different directing effects. The chlorine is the deactivating orthopara director, the nitro group is the deactivating meta director, and finally our carbonyl or ketone that is also a deactivating meta director. Now, now, another thing that is very important to keep in mind here is that in addition to our director effects, we also need to take into consideration any kind of limitations that our reactions might have. Namely, here I am referring to the Friedel-Crafts acylation, because the Friedel-Crafts acylation and the Friedel-Crafts alkylations, they both fail if we are trying to do this reaction with a deactivated ring, which means that our acyl group must be put on our aromatic compound first. So the very first reaction that I am going to be doing here is going to be this acylation. Now, since the acyl group is going to be the meta director, I can either add chlorine or the nitro group next. However, since the chlorine is the orthopara director and the nitro group is the meta director, my second step must be the nitration, because once I have two of those groups on my aromatic ring, all of those uh, corresponding orta and para positions are going to be deactivated, and the only place where the final chlorination can occur is going to be where I want it to be, so my chlorination is going to be my step number three. And so now, when we have a very good idea of how our synthesis is going to look like, let's work on that and put it all together. Naturally, I'm going to start by redrawing my starting material, which is just simply a benzene in this case. And, as I've mentioned a moment ago, my first step is going to be the Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction, giving us acetophenone as our product. Next, we are going to do our nitration reaction, where I am going to treat my compound with a mixture of the concentrated nitric and sulfuric acids, giving us our nitrated product, and finally, our last uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution in this case, going to be our chlorination, so I am going to bring Cl2 in the presence of my Lewis acid catalyst, which is uh, iron chloride in this case, but I can just as well take aluminum chloride or something similar. Aluminum and iron chloride, as you know, are the most common ones here, giving me my last substituent on my aromatic ring. And the very last thing that we have to do to bring our molecule to the target molecule, to the final product, would be to create our enamine. So in this case, in order to make my enamine, I would have to bring my secondary amine, in this case it's this simple five-membered ring with the nitrogen, called pyrrolidine, and of course the formation of enamines typically done in a very slightly acidic media. So I'm also going to say that we have a pH of about 5 or so, and that gives us our target molecule. So, what do you guys think about this synthesis? Too hard? A little bit too easy? Let me know in the comments below! And as always, Thank you for watching. If you like this video, boop the like button and subscribe for more. Check out this video next and I will see you next time.